Hi, my name is Brittany. So my name is Kelly, uh, Kelly Bowie. My name is Elena. Uh, my art name is A. Decker. I practice photography. Photography is my medium and I've been doing photography since 2016 when I was living in Jamaica and I came to Lori to further pursue photography while doing film studies. I'm also majoring in sociology and women and gender studies as well. Um, so yeah, I do photography. Uh, I'm more focused towards portraiture. Picked that up as, as a hobby, I would say five, six years ago. Uh, just a way of escaping from my uh, everyday career that it gets a bit crazy. So yeah, I think photography is a way for me to, to escape from, from that. So yeah, I like shooting people. Uh, these days I, I'm trying to get into uh, landscape, but uh, probably more on uh, portraiture. At the beginning, I called my art fine art funk because I just, that was the beginning. I didn't know much of what I was doing. I just knew I like creating. But my practice is more of kind of street art, abstract realism in one it's just my my art i don't want to really categorize it i just want i like creating when i was younger so my mom she was sick or my mom got sick when i was nine i had a friend who had an uncle who had a camera that was just sitting down so i kind of just spent my free time taking pictures over a while and then I did something spontaneously like when I was 16 I applied for this internship for this teen magazine and then it was so much fun like I was just having the time of my life and then I just kept on applying for internships in 16 and I just never stopped. I think for me I do have a couple of elements I use as an escape route for me booking, traveling, reading I think eventually I, I stumbled upon photography as a kid I've always had like a camera uh, my, my dad always had like the tiny digital cameras, so I, I knew how to take pictures, um, but I think for me it was like, is this something that, like, can I get better, uh, right? So, like I said, five, six years ago, I went I went on Kijiji and I, you know, searched uh, a DSLR. I'm like, okay, what is this? I started doing more research, I'm like, okay, it's a, it's, a, it's a better camera. So yeah, I picked one up, I used, and I just started shooting. I think then I started shooting my, my, my dead ex-girlfriend. I uh, just started playing around and shooting and then I had uh, composed photos, frame, lighting, you know, ISO aperture and all of that. So yeah, I think for me, that's where I started. And eventually I think I took it serious when I started following some creators online. And yeah, and pretty much from there, I just continued doing it, yeah. So the beginning of my art journey was 2019, the beginning of, you know, the stillness of COVID. Really, I was, I guess you can say, kind of like in a dark space. I was depressed and my anxiety was was getting pretty heavy. So I was going to yoga classes and when in yoga, I was um, you know just practicing. It was very helpful, but being there helped me to really, I don't know, for some reason, some window opened. And it's funny because the yoga teacher was an art artist herself or is an artist herself. And I don't know when that window opened, it just hasn't shut. I've just been creator, creating since then and I can't stop. So really, if it wasn't for the stillness, I don't think I would be creating. Uh, there's this girl, her name is Amma Pinkerton. She went to my high school in Jamaica and then she moved to the UK to further pursue photography. Um, she was always really good at painting and photography, which is something both that I loved. And her style of work, she first started off with black and white and then she moved on to more conceptual pieces like portraitures. And I, that's something that I really want to go into. So I love her style of work and I just try to work as hard to gain a certain like level of quality that she produces and another person named Derek Foster that's another um, Jamaican photographer but he more does weddings and so on and that kind of inspired me to go into event photography as well. I don't think it's just one artist I think there's a couple of artists that have influenced the way I, I take my photos I think one of them I think one of them is Peter McKinnon big these days on YouTube but I can remember back then he was probably more on like photography now he's I think getting towards like videography in, instead. But I love his pictures because he knows how to play with light and 
it creates these very moody pictures. Not like dark pictures, but just moody, where it focuses more on the subject. So I was able to, to, to extract some elements from his uh, style. And I think I've been able to incorporate those in my own photography, but also add my own spin to it, right? I, I like moody, dramatic shots. I think another artist that's influenced me would be, uh, I think, Brandon Wolfo. I think he's a photographer based in New York as well. Just the way he plays with lighting and colors. I think his photos are, I would say, almost whimsical, magical. I'm self-taught, so I learned from, from these guys. I think Manny Ortiz, another photography, uh, photographer based in uh, Chicago, is more of a, a, a wedding photographer, but he pays a lot of attention to skin tones, right? He likes very sharp, clear images. So um, I've been able to watch, I would say, more than 20, 50 of his videos and, you know, incorporated some of his um, photography elements in, in mine, yeah. I'm, I like, love Jean-Michel Basquiat. The reason is because his art was so free-spirited and so free and there's like this beautiful chaos with his art. I like the fact that it's so raw. So the rawness of art and not really paying attention to all the rules that go alongside art. He's just creating because it's beautiful. And that's my style. It's just I create because it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, I'd say Dax. I applied for this Dax internship thing. I wasn't able to like do anything with them until 2019 because I was still in high school, so I didn't have availability to go to work with them. But then 2019, 2020, or 2018, 2019, I was just doing work with them nonstop. And then he's just so good at what he does. Like I'm inspired by his work ethic. So he's kind of the one who kind of keeps me going. And when I want, when I can't figure out a lot of things, like even the other day, I couldn't figure out lighting. Like it's easy for me to just call on him and ask him to help me with certain things. Like the, you know, the yoga teacher I was telling you about is, is one that inspired me as well. You know, the yoga teacher, huge inspiration and um, a friend of mine. There's also local ones, like local artists that I just love their work as well within our, you know, KW region and some in Toronto. I just, I get inspired by other people's work, by what people say, poetry, what I see. But to be confident in my work, because a lot of times where I would do something and I wouldn't post it because I wanted to wait until I got better to post something. And then I kind of think that that same perfectionism traits of mine still lives somewhere in me but I try to just post nonetheless because at the end of the day even if I don't find it the perfect image I think people see my progress and I think people achieve your progress rather than just the end result sometimes if you just wait until it's perfect then you never post and no one will ever know you <laughs> then I would never get the chance to network and no one would ever believe me every time you get the chance to talk about your work I think you should do it be proud of your work I think those are things I would tell my younger self create for yourself start start there first right mm -hmm. and I think people would see your work and appreciate it and hopefully someone would is able to relate to your work and and inspire someone, right? You know. You know what? I wish I trusted myself and trusted my creativity as much as the folks that trusted in me um, at the very beginning, because there's a lot of doubts, and those doubts will carry through out the years. But I just wish I had more of that confidence at the beginning. But I know that that just comes with like learning. But and then the doubt of considering myself as an artist so that could be maybe just me having my own little complexes there but I just wish I remembered you know when I'm creating if you create you are an artist don't ever doubt yourself you are an artist don't even think you have to be doing it for 25 years or you know or longer like it could be a year it could be a month you're an artist it's fine <laughs> you got this